Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and also we're gonna update the CME chart since we closed already the CMEs on Friday. So before we start with the content, my friends, I just want to give a big shout out to all of you. Thank you again very much for all your support. And I just want to tell you that I'm getting currently a lot of strikes here on YouTube because of previous old videos that we did in the past. So it looks like that somehow uh, YouTube is again going against crypto videos. And also today I received another one and I was just about to getting uh, blocked here but uh, fortunately I have a contact on YouTube and they already uh, deleted uh, all my warnings and strikes. So fortunately I can upload again this uh, video as usual today. Um, so thank you again very much for the great community here. And uh, just in case that at some point I'm getting blocked or for whatever reason I'm getting banned for some days, make sure that you also are subscribed here to my backup channel. It's just called here Alessandro the Crypto 2, like here AD Crypto Returns. If somehow I'm getting banned or blocked here uh, for a while, I will upload the videos here on this backup channel. So make sure that you are subscribed also to this one over here. And of course, also that you're joining our great crypto community here on Discord. So make sure that you use the official link that you find down below here in the video description to join our great Discord community. So a big shout out to all the members here and all the special shout out to Geek Mama. It's her birthday today. So congratulations, happy birthday. I hope that, that you can celebrate a nice birthday after watching this video. So thank you again very much for all your great support, my friends. And now let's start straight into the content because Bitcoin after this nice breather that we had yesterday, you can see that currently we are consolidating back above the EMA ribbons here in the four hour time frame. And also we are currently trading above all the moving averages again. So the four hour time frame is looking again more bullish than bearish. Even though we are not out of the woods yet, we still have a lot of resistances above of us. But so far everything is playing out as expected after getting here a buy signal in the three hour time frame. I told you yesterday that I gonna scale in some longs here, but of course it's not a very comfortable trade because we still have a lot of resistances above of us. But as soon as we are breaking here this $58,000 level, I think we are out of the woods and we will go towards new all time highs. But so far it looks like that we're still on our way towards these uh, price targets up here and on the way to reach this resistance, I still think that we're gonna get some more pullbacks here because in the three hour time frame currently we have a sell signal flashing. That doesn't mean that we will straight crash down towards $49,000 or sub 50K, but at least we could see here maybe another retest here of this 54 thousand dollar this is also exactly where the cm is closed on friday so the cm is closed here at fifty four thousand dollar so wherever the price is going during the weekend most of the times we are retracing back to this price level on monday as soon as the cm is starting again so what I'm expecting here in the next coming hours is that we're going to trade sideways here, maybe even have a pullback down towards $54,000 and then maybe have the attempt during the weekend to test here this resistance that we have here between $56,800 and of course this $58,000 from this red trend line that is coming down here. So even though we could still get these pullbacks, maybe even down to this support that we have currently at $50,000, I'm still leaning more for the bullish side, especially for the month of April. I think that as soon as we're gonna start the month of April, this is going to be a very healthy and bullish month. So even though we're still trapped within this falling wedge or bull flag or whatever pattern you want to call it, because it is a bullish pattern, if we're gonna see latest here at $49,000, a big buy to the upside and of course we're gonna break it to the upside then I'm expecting big fireworks to the 
upside. I'm only getting concerned here if we're gonna lose here these $49,000. So if we're gonna fall below this important support level right here at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement, then I think we're gonna see a big sell off uh, below $40,000. But so far, everything is looking like that we could gear up here to go towards our resistance. And this is also where I'm most likely going to take some profits out of my long position that I opened down here. Because if we are able to break through here, then of course you can open up a new long position once we are consolidating above the previous resistance. But if here we are getting rejected, there is a very high chance that we're gonna see maybe another retest down here between 54,000 to $49,000. And hopefully latest there have a big bounce to the upside. So in the lower time frames, we are in theory back in an uptrend, but we still can see some pullbacks here since the four hour and three hour time frames are looking like that we are in for a little pullback. But afterwards, I think that we're gonna continue towards our resistance up here at around $58,000. And the other bullish thing is that here in the daily time frame yesterday, we came very close to the nine daily moving average. So far, it is holding as a strong resistance. But if we are able to close daily candles again next week above the nine and 20 daily moving average, so let's say above $56,000, then we will have here a buy signal confirmed. And also the likelihood of breaking out here to the upside will be way higher because the daily time frame is looking again way more bullish than it was in the last couple of days. We could get here a confirmed buy signal. The RSI is trading again above the 50 level. And also we never went below the EMA ribbons here in the daily time frame. So, so far we still have a big chance here to see a big breakout to the upside and our bullish targets, if we can take out this all time high here, are still between 75 to 100K. And then of course we need to see if there we should take some profits or not because Bitcoin is anyway going to way higher levels. But I think if we're going to see an explosive move towards 75 to 100 K, it wouldn't be maybe a bad idea to at least take a little bit of profits out. If somehow we get at any point a bigger sell off down towards the 20 weekly moving average or maybe even towards the 200 daily moving average that we can buy that dip if it's happening because the 200 daily moving average as you can see is still here down at around $28,000. So for the worst case scenario that we're gonna see somehow a sell off, I think the 200 daily moving average should be really the last resort for the bulls if we even gonna lose the 20 weekly moving average as a support. So I don't think that we're gonna visit during this bull run the 200 daily moving average here at $28,000. But I just want to show you this moving average that you have this also in your radar. And now let's go over into the weekly time frame. Because even though we had this uh, pullback this week, you can see that we didn't go below the nine weekly moving average, which is exactly at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement from this correction that we had and the all time high here of 60. $2,000. So everything is still looking very bullish here in the weekly time frame, And we shouldn't see this drop down to the 20 weekly moving average yet because we're still above the nine weekly moving average. I'm only starting to get concerned here and I'm expecting a drop down towards the 20 weekly moving average at $36,000 only if we're starting to trade below the nine weekly moving average. But as you can see, even this week, we didn't come down below this important price level. And that's why I'm expecting in the next coming weeks, especially for the month of April and May, some big continuations here to the upside. So the conclusion for Bitcoin, my friends, is that we are potentially getting some more pullbacks here in the lower time frames. But I think latest in the beginning of April, we're going to then see here a huge breakout to the upside and continue our bull market here without getting a huge sell off here, at least as long as we are maintaining here the price above $49,000. And now let's have a look also into the Ethereum price. We can start here in the four hour time frame because also Ethereum is currently recovering here from the support that we got here at 1580. We are again above this Fibonacci retracement here at 1670. So same thing like in Bitcoin here in the lower time frames, we are in theory back in an uptrend. It is possible that also here we're gonna see some more pullbacks here. Maybe we're gonna test a couple of times more here. This new support that we have here at 
1670 but overall also here i'm expecting very soon to go up here to retest this 1760 resistance maybe create here an inverse head and shoulders pattern and then break out to the upside and also see here in ethereum new all-time highs so the same thing goes also here for Ethereum, my friends. There could be here some more sideways movements ahead of us, maybe also some more pullbacks, but overall we are looking again way more bullish here in the Ethereum price and even here in the daily time frame. You can see that currently we are back in our EMA ribbons and as soon as we can break here above 1760 and also start to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average which is here still resistance i'm expecting also here for ethereum big pumps towards new all-time highs and also here we are getting a buy signal it's not yet confirmed but if you want to trade the safe way and wait for confirmations then wait until we're gonna get a confirmed buy signal here in ethereum and also start to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average so above 1770 only then we can say that we are out of the woods and we will most likely head towards new all-time highs so ethereum is also starting to look again way more bullish than it was in the last couple of days but everything is depending from bitcoin my friend so if bitcoin continues to dump then all altcoins most likely also gonna follow bitcoin but if bitcoin is able to go back in an uptrend and start a parabolic run towards new all-time highs i think that most of the altcoins especially ethereum that is still lagging behind will also perform very very nicely maybe even outperform bitcoin because don't forget that we still have a very high bitcoin dominance we are still above the 60 percent level and we're still moving here right at our support here at around 60 percent so if here somehow we're gonna lose the 60 percent level i think that we're gonna see a huge altcoin season because in that case uh, we're gonna lose a lot here in bitcoin dominance maybe we could even drop down towards 50 percent and that of course is very bullish for altcoins and at the same time also for bitcoin because that will mean that bitcoin will pump but the altcoins will outperform most likely bitcoin if here we're gonna lose the 60 percent level in dominance and if this happens my friends then it's the time to invest in some nice juicy altcoins because you definitely want to take as much profits as possible on the way to the upside if we're gonna lose here the 60 percent bitcoin dominance because if we're gonna see an altcoin season you can do very easy some nice flip trades so that means that you can buy some altcoins and as soon as they are outperforming bitcoin you can take the profits into bitcoin like this you can easily gain some more bitcoin just by buying some altcoins and as soon as they outperform bitcoin you can switch back into Bitcoin and like this you can multiply easily your Bitcoin portfolio because if I'm going to buy altcoins if we're gonna lose here the 60% level is only because I want to multiply my Bitcoin portfolio I'm not gonna hold altcoins for a very long time usually I just buy and as soon I have a double or even more than that in profits then I switch back into Bitcoin currently I'm only holding Ethereum and Bitcoin in my portfolio but if here we're gonna lose the 60% in dominance, I definitely gonna buy some altcoins, especially from the DeFi space, because I think there is a very high chance that some altcoins could outperform Bitcoin if here we're gonna lose the dominance. And of course, also Bitcoin is starting to create new all-time highs at the same time. So the Bitcoin dominance chart, in my opinion, is also something that we have to keep a very close eye on here if Bitcoin is starting to pump, because if we're gonna lose the dominance here at the same time while we are pumping in the Bitcoin price, this could be a very nice opportunity to buy some altcoins in order then to multiply our Bitcoin. But so far we are still maintaining the 60% support. Let's wait and see what will happen here. Of course, if here we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside and increase the Bitcoin dominance, this will be very bad for altcoins, but very good for Bitcoin. So that's why we have to keep a very close eye on here what is going to happen next. So if you want to take this advantage here, if we're gonna lose the 60% in dominance here for Bitcoin, then make sure that you have an account ready over on Binance. Use my link down below here if you still need a Binance account, because with my link, of course, you support the channel. And here on Binance, you can buy any kind of altcoins that you want and also easily switch back into Bitcoin from here. So on Binance, you can do really everything. And this is also the exchange that I am 
using. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and check out all my referral links down below here to the recommended exchanges, especially for Bybit and Femex. Here you can trade Bitcoin and other altcoins up to 100X leverage so definitely check them out and if you use my invitation links down below here you will get some extra bonus and another big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord this is also the place where you can get access to my live stream indicator if you're interested in this indicator you can get access if you are getting here a membership in youtube or you can just contact me directly here on discord with a private message to get access to this indicator because a small donation is needed therefore so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.